Hi, everybody. So we bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. So for the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about something a little bit different, and that is the ball, the placement of the, your weight in your foot, changing from strictly going to the ball of the foot as a way of establishing your center equilibrium to actually have a conversation between the ball and the heel. The key to it is that you want to have the structure that, that the ball of the foot allows you that gets created by this young expansion. If, uh, if your weight is, is in the ball of your foot, there's a tendency to be more activated, more expansive. And so the structure gets, there's, there's more space there. So if we can maintain that structure and then shift so that the weight is in the heels, then this allows for the polarity of the energy to reverse. That is the energy is, starts to become more yin. We start to, the, the flow is in a, is in a yin direction, moving, moving downward. Even though the yin energy of the earth is, is actually rising, there is a, the yin expression in our bodies is down. So, and the yang is, is up and out. So the, uh, by doing that, we, what we're doing is, is we're establishing a structure, we're establishing a framework that is strong, dependable. Uh, it's got space, but it's not just a, um, a, a wide open. There is, it's, it's got a, um, uh, uh, a tensegrity to it. And that comes from, by establishing the yang energy first. So then whenever we shift into the heels, we keep that structure and we feel and sink into, into the earth and open up that connection with the earth even, even bigger. And so the effect is to purify, to cleanse, to throw away your, 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 allowing the energy to move through you and go out through the balls of your feet or through the, the, the bubbling well points and just you're, you're allowing that energy to, to dissipate. Um, and that's the energy that's within your system. So whenever I talk about say, you know, to, okay, now disappear the chi, that's kind of the, the direction we're talking about. We're talking about disappearing the chi, we're talking about uh, eliminating it, throwing it away. Um, the paradox here, and this requires a little bit of a, uh, a stretch here, and that is as you throw that energy away, the used energy or whatever, the, then you actually are creating space for the yin energy of the earth to ascend and fill. And so you are getting this supportive yin energy while you, the direction of the of, of the energy in the system in your body mind is going in a uh, in a downward direction. So um, the feeling of it is to feel into that expansion and then feel into the uh, the cleansing or the it's like you're you're pulling the plug in the bathtub. You know the feel the, the energy just is going out. And it's not like you're completely emptying out of energy. You're just replacing it with a different kind of energy. One that is less uh, identifiable ordinarily. You know, like, so we, we have a tendency to associate energy with the, the, the bright lights and shiny objects kind which is the yang chi, and it's like, yeah, ah, yes, it's crackles, it sparkles, it, it's lively. And, but there, the yin energy is calm, it's quiet, it, it gathers. And so it's as much energy, it's just, it's a different flavor. 
and having the ability to access both of these and be able to control the valve so that you are able to determine which one you're going to express at a given time is a, a tremendous asset to us as martial artists and also in terms of our ability to uh, to maintain our our calmness and centeredness and and feeling of well-being just in terms of our health so we could think of Taiji as, as really focusing on two pairs of things. One is yin and yang. That is, is the energy expanding? Is it contracting? Is it going up and out? Is it going down and in? And um, that's, that's the, that polarity of yin and yang. The other is a polarity of insubstantial and substantial. That is, insubstantial is moving more toward non-substance or non-being and substantial is moving more toward being so we have this this dance of of being and becoming that that we engage in throughout our whole lives and we can focus on either aspect of that but uh being able to do both enables us to create uh, effects with that and and to get a better sense of of all the woo-woo stuff that we play with because the woo-woo stuff is tending toward the insubstantial you know the the term shu is uh, the chinese term it's a it's more toward nothingness and sure is the is more toward a somethingness so that dance between between something and nothing, that de, the direction of those two is is uh, essential to understanding Taiji Tran. So we have these two qualities, and we're going to play around with that a little bit, calling attention to to both as we as we do our, our little meditation here. So uh, why don't you stand up and let's uh, let's do this. Let's begin by establishing our three pillars, just as we always have, and that is get our central equilibrium first. We're going to have this young expansion, which creates a structure. We're like blowing up the balloon or blowing up a tire by filling up with this young chi. So you want to feel the balls of your feet. And the weight, of course, is spread throughout the foot, but you're primarily over the balls of the feet. Your knees are unlocked. You reach with the crown of your head, tuck in the chin, and open the jade pillow gate. So feel that those poles in opposition. Relax your lower back and allow your pelvis to level out. And push away from the earth and and then spiral down and unlock your hip joints you want your quad to be nice and sung so you're sinking into the earth but you're still feeling into the balls of the feet so reaching with the crown of your head you point your index fingers and feel into your hands feel the energetic coherence that that uh, your that affects your whole body mind it ties everything together reach with the elbows a little bit and open the shoulder joints and so feel the substantiality of your body in central equilibrium just like here it is your your it's a very stable posture, very, very integrated and powerful. 
So that's more toward the becoming part. That's your, your actually more toward the being part. It's your, your, here you are, you've got a structure and it is dependable. Now, uh, bring your awareness to the energy that extra sense that you get. From being in this posture. And you can focus on the substantial aspect. You can say, oh, my hands and fingers are tingling. That's substantial. You know, there's a pulsing there. Okay, that's substantial. Or you can kind of open up your awareness and and notice that there's something more than that, some energy that's going on there, and just having developing that perception that's more insubstantial. Uh, notice that there's a fullness here. There's a, we have this young expansion going on. And the more we stand like this, the more it just fills up the balloon. I want you to settle into your heels while maintaining your center equilibrium. And feel yourself sinking into your heels without leaning backward. So you want to still have your body centered, but you're centering over your heels rather than in, into the balls of your feet. And just notice the qualitative difference in your internal state as you do this. Notice that there's a downward pull here. Everything is getting very heavy, denser. As you make an even stronger connection with the earth chi. You know, feel the balls of your feet and adjust so that you're centering over the balls of your feet. And notice the qualitative difference in your internal state by doing that. So what we're doing here is comparing the insubstantials of, the, you know, of these two different states, that state of being. Just feel that, feel that expansiveness that occurs, that electricity that gets generated by this young posture. And so a, a large, a large uh, influence on why I've encouraged the you know, set, having the balls of your feet as your default setting is because it's. I consider it much better for most people as a martial art. Your ability to, to function as a martial artist increases dramatically when you have this, when you have this readiness that comes with the young energy. But now we're adding this whole another level that we're not losing the yang chi of the, the balls of the feet. We're just adding this other dimension to it by settling into the heels. So let's do that now and feel yourself releasing downward, getting even more sung. Feel the pull, feel the, the weight of your arms, the weight of your body sinking down, 
there's a density there that comes with that as you get more substantial. And so yin and yang, substantial and substantial are, are going to vary every, every time you change your focus, every time you, you talk about a different aspect or just change your, your perspective. You know, we have to be careful about assigning any absolute values to either yin yang, substantial and insubstantial. They're always, always, always in relation to each other, always relative terms. Right now, we're more substantial and more yin, where the, there's that, that quality there of, of dropping down. And notice the effect it has on your mind. Your mind is clear in both the yin and the yang, but there's a there's just a different quality. So the different flavor that you get when in, in this in this state. Now we're gonna add some arms to this just to for some fun here. So you're gonna feel the you're going to sink into the balls of your feet and reach with your wrists, your elbows. So here we've got this yang expansion. So anytime we're moving up and out, we're kind of expanding outward. We've got this yang field that's being generated. And so we go to the balls of the feet and just allow that to fill. Now go to the heels, reach down to the elbows, the wrists, the hands, and feel yourself sinking. Feel that yin. The balls. Set the knees, reach with the wrists, the elbows. Good, and continue reaching upward, opening, opening more and more expansive. Feel yourself addressing, meeting the, the heavens, meeting the yang chi of the heavens opening and asking for that energy to come down and meet you. Feel that expansiveness. Shift your heels, reach down with your elbows, your wrists. Sink. Feel the heaviness, feel the density, feel the substantiality. So it's this, it's this pulsing between yin and yang that uh, eliminates stagnation. So whenever we have stagnation in the body, we it tends to toward illness or frailty or just uh, entropy. So having this pulsing, big yang, big yin, allows for the, the body to work like a bellows. So let's, let's go yang again, feel the balls, Set the knees, reach of the wrists. 
the elbows, fingers open, open the chest, open the shoulders, open the abdomen. Just feel that, young, bathe in that yang energy that's, that's filling up. Feel the insubstantiality of it. It's like you're gonna float away, being lifted. And now into the heels, reach down to the elbows, the wrists, the fingers. Down, down, down. Step in. And shift the balls of your feet as your arms come up. Take a deep breath. Open, open. Expansive. Feeling with that insubstantial, feeling with that yang chi, and then heels sinking and allowing all that energy to go away. and dissolve into the emptiness. Okay, now we do something a little different. We're going to take the first part of a uh, of the Wudong Mountain Taiyi and just focus on this dance between substantial and insubstantial yin and yang, and include this idea of the of where you're taking the energy in your feet and where you're making contact include that. Step out with your left foot. And sink into your heels. So here we're, we're going into the Wu Chi the undifferentiated nothingness. That is, we are, we are moving in the direction of non-being. No form, but infinite potentiality. And the Wu Qi precedes the yin and yang. 
that precedes the Taiji. It creates that empty space, that non-being, that state of non-being out of which being emerges. Feel the, the emptiness. At least you're tending toward that emptiness. None of us are going to achieve full emptiness because here we are, we got a form. But the direction is leading us in a certain direction. It's, it's taking us in a certain direction. It's leading us, leading us toward that non-being, that 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 insubstantiality. And now you're going to feel the balls of your feet. And notice we're starting to move to the Taiji now. This is the undifferentiated somethingness. So we substantiality and hands, feel your wrists, your elbows. Arms rounded, reach with your elbows, open the shoulder joints. Feel that expansiveness. Feel as though there's this pressure inside your arms that are is is wants to push outward, wants to expand outward, like you're blowing up this balloon there that it just keeps opening. At the same time, there is this containment that is coming from the circle of your arms. You're hugging that balloon. Sink into the heels and rotate your forearms so the palms face outward and sink down, keeping your center equilibrium. Notice this has a qualitative uh, difference in, in that state of being from when the arms are pointed face inward. You know, feel the balls of your feet. Sink into the balls of your feet and very slowly reach with your elbows. So this is where the Taiji separates into yin and yang. Feel the magnetic attraction between your hands as you pull them apart. opening. Feel the ball of the right foot. and feel your right hand. What we've done is we've created yang in the right arm. 
The left hand is yin. It's create. It's got its own energy, and it is creating a a battery or a reservoir for the yang chi. That yang expression. Now feel the left ball. Set the left knee and reach with the left hand. And that's become yang. Feel the qualitative difference in your in your arms. Now feel the heel of your right foot and sink into your right foot. And feel the yin. Now feel the heel of your left foot. Sink into your left and feel the yin in your left side. To the ball of the right foot and sink into the right and reach out with the right hand. Feel the yang expression there. Extending, opening, reaching. I feel the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee and reach out with your left hand. Feel the yang expression there. Now, without letting that go, feel that yang expression there. Feel the heel of your right foot and feel the yin of the right hand. So these two are playing off of each other. And they're creating their own unique interplay of energies. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, reach with the right hand. Yang expression. Feel the heel of the left foot the left hand, you know, the yin of the left hand without leaving go of the yang of the right. Keeping those two poles in opposition. Come back to center. Bring your hands forward. Into the balls of your feet, hands forward, reaching out, opening. Now sink into your heels. Hands back and down. Very slowly, feel. Feel that yin. Notice that even though it's yin, there's an abundance of chi going through the through your body mind at this point. Rotate your forearms, palms face backward. Now, feel all that at once. All those movements, all those yin, yang, substantial, and insubstantial. 
feel it as a potentiality, not as a sequence, it's all happening simultaneously. All those possibilities exist within you in this moment. You can express them instantaneously the ball of the right foot, sink, step in, to the balls of both feet, hands come up, gathering, young, expansive, so give it the heels and uh, disappear the chi, throw it away. Moving to back toward the Wu Chi, that undifferentiated nothingness infinite potentiality, zero manifestation. Please take a seat. Rick. Tai Chi roller coaster. <laughs> You know, when you get into the one, you're coming to the crest of the drop, and then you go into the drop. Mm. You go back to the crest, then you go into the drop again. <laughs> I, I, I've made uh, foot-shaped indentations in my wooden floor. <laughs> oh, you, uh, you beat me up, but you put me back together again, so thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you, Rick. <laughs> I say I'm real, but it's not real. It's all too real. Oh, great. Carry on. <laughs> Lynn. Um, yeah, wow. Uh, my feet definitely were larger. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's this expanding foot that is is there as a base throughout all of it right so that despite the the, the roller coaster it's, there, it's not an unsettling roller coaster it's a grounding roller coaster for me like so I just felt so perfectly connected throughout um which was really lovely um, and I also became a lot more aware of the back of my body, hmm. the back of my arms, the back of my legs, the back of my back. Um, when we were in the yin, you know, I was really able to sense all of the, the backness um, without leaning back. So that was cool. Nice. Everybody else, Scott. You know, when you're when we're done and you say take a seat, I never really want to take a seat, but I <laughs> really, really, really didn't want to take a seat. 
today. It was just the, uh, you know, the, the balance was just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Everything just feels good. Nice. Um, I did find throughout, I mean, after like the first minute or two, uh, you know, as we were going back and when we're in the heels, no matter, I mean, I was going way back in heels. I mean, you know, keeping my balance, keep my central ego when we're going way back in my heels and still feeling a very strong sense of the arm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's, it's going to take some practice. We're just, we're just getting, getting started with this exploration. So it's going to take some practice to really to be able to separate those, those two. And that's uh, particularly since you've been working for years at the other one, so that that's a uh, that's a super highway, and um, you know this is more uh, the other one is more of a cow path. So you need to uh, uh, well the, <laughs> we'll need to get some get some heavy equipment in there to uh, to uh, kind of blaze the trail for you. Well, I can but, certainly I can certainly feel both. It was just that you know no matter how much yin I was feeling, the yang was still very strong. It was just kind of. Kind of weird, actually. Yeah. Cool. Good. Valerina. Um, <clears throat> what I noticed tonight was a very different feeling in my hands. Mm -hmm. There was still that buzz, but it was a different buzz. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to describe it because I don't know how to describe it. It was a buzz, but it was different. So I think that, um, I mean, I can, I would account that to there being that blend of yin and yang. You know, it wasn't, definitely wasn't less, you know, it wasn't less strong, but it was just a different sort of feeling. Um, that's what I get to. I, I I call it a qualitative difference in the energy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you know, it's not like there's less energy. It just it's it's qualitatively different. And you know, I can think of it in terms of a different vector, right? It's mm -hmm. polarity. It's moving in a different direction um, and having a different result or different effects on my body mind as a result of that. But uh, yeah, qualitative difference. I uh, yeah, it was, it was it was quite full. Yes, quite full. Quite full. Quite full. We're getting a lot more, with, especially with what you had us doing. We're getting a lot more blending, right? Because we're doing we're going back and forth, back and forth. So it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot more of a blend. Blending and. It, it, it's it's blending and separating. So it, there's this, it, there's kind of, they come together, they go apart. And uh, the ability to do that, I think is, is key to be able to take your Kung Fu to a, to a much higher level. Cool. You're laughing at something there, Valerina? Yeah, the Rick with no K is yawning. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've, I've been doing, yeah. Stuff is coming out of all sorts of places. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so this, uh, this idea here, we have this insubstantial, substantial, yin, yang, being able to, to notice that there's infinite variations on these things. We can never pin them down. They just happen to be how they per, they are perceived in the moment, and then we, you know, we move on to the next moment. And each of these descriptions are vague approximations that may or may not be helpful in the moment. And uh, so I think it's helpful to at least try to articulate these things, even if they're not. Uh, really accurate or they're clumsy, at least trying to do that enables us to create that differentiation, which enables us to 
bring our, our focus in the, in the present moment to, to what's going on. Cool. Good, good, good. How'd that go for you, Nick? Uh, full, as you said. Um, it went well. It was cool. And yeah, and the, the you can really feel the pulse. It's the and the, and the qualitative. Yeah, this is not. It's beyond description. In that, other than that, it is qualitatively different, but it's really substantially different. You know, it's it's, it's fun. Cool. One of the things we've been uh, exploring in, uh, in my in-person classes is using the, uh, particularly the yin as a way of neutralizing without movement. In other words, taking energy in and by reversing the polarity within your own body mind, you're able to neutralize the incoming force without making adjustments without any elaborate movements. So just by transforming your state of being in the moment. So the degree that we're able to control our state of being, our internal state, you know, can have a broad effect on our Kung Fu. And then this takes us to a whole new level of, uh, of, uh, of expression of our martial arts. Cool. <laughs> okay. Thank you all so much. Cool. Thank you, Maria. Thank, Thank you, Maria. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful week, everybody. You too.